Just a bit about topical therapies is probably a good thing to have a chat about. There are a number of different topical therapies available for use in Australia. Most of them are suitable for treating just your standard solar keratosis, also known as actinic keratosis, also known as sunspots by doctors. Patients call almost anything a sunspot, and it's not what we're talking about. We're not talking about little liver spots, okay? I'm not talking about those. Topical therapies such as 5-FU, which is known as Effudix, that treats solar keratosis quite effectively. And there's another one called Imiquimod, which is known as Aldara, but it's off patent, as are all both of these drugs. And they're about probably $50 for a tube of 5-FU, maybe 30 bucks for six sachets of Imiquimod, depending on where you go. Now, these creams treat precancerous things as well as non-surgically treating a couple of skin cancers that don't have roots. What we talk about in the professional certificate course is we have about 40 minutes we talk about which drug treats which skin cancer and when to use each one. So if I were trying to summarize that in about 60 seconds, we try and give you a whole lot of information with lots of pictures and examples, but it's been shown in the last year or two that field therapy with 5-FU, so treating a whole area with 5-FU, reduces the number of squamous cell skin cancers in that area by 75% over the subsequent 12 months. So that's a huge difference. That's the first good evidence that field therapy decreases skin cancers moving forward. Before that study came out, it was more of a surely this must help because sunspots, we know that they turn into SCC fairly frequently. So surely field therapy, getting rid of 75% of your sunspots must decrease your subsequent skin cancers. But it's nice to finally prove that. And 5-FU, if you're having trouble convincing your patients to use it because they're going to look like they've got leprosy for a month, you might say to them, well, yeah, but you'll get less skin cancers. I will admit I have a lot of trouble selling the concept of looking terrible to patients until they grow a skin cancer. Once they've grown a skin cancer, especially one on their head or their neck, perhaps their arms, much it's a much easier sell because it, you know, it costs $50 and they look terrible. But if it's going to give them less skin cancers, most people are on board with it. It's also useful to know that if you get a biopsy which comes back as SCC without any roots, so Bowen's disease or SCC in situ, that can, under certain circumstances, be treated with 5-FU cream. Usually the regimen is something like twice a day for four to six weeks, with a cure rate in some studies of about 84%. So it's not guaranteed to fix the biopsy proven Bowens, and it's not suitable for all patients, but in certain circumstances, it's worth trying. You don't want your patient to come back and say, that scar, I hate that scar you gave me. And my friend Beryl just told me that she used a cream on hers and it looks amazing. Why didn't you offer me the cream? There's a similar scenario with a skin cancer called superficial basal cell skin cancer. Just occasionally you'll find that you'll find a spot that is suitable for use of Imiquimod. The regimen is five nights a week for six weeks. It turns the skin cancer area into a scab. Then you stop after six weeks, apply lots of moisturizer, the scab falls off. And again, about 85% of the time, it shows clearance of the skin cancer. Now imagine you've given this patient a terrible scar or you know, the patient's on all these blood thinners, you don't want to put a knife in them, or they've got a pacemaker and it's over an artery or something. I'm sure you'll find a patient one day who you're very grateful for the existence of Imiquimod.